Welcome back to the planning process. You're on step one right now, and that's identifying the strengths and the skills and abilities that a student holds. We're gonna walk through that really quick together to make sure that you know how to complete this. If at any time you have questions, my email is included on these sheets. Please just send a message and I will usually answer it within a day or two. Because I don't want you to be lost, I want this to be a positive experience. In the first step one, student strengths, what I want you to really look at and think about is to break it down into four components. Students have academic strengths, they have physical strengths, they have personality strengths, and they have interests. It might be that you don't know strengths in those areas or different areas, and that's okay. Just complete what you can complete. I'm going to give you an example of a student that I have had. I had a student whose academic strengths were that they remembered absolutely every single thing that they had ever learned. And I'm going to put that there. It doesn't mean that they're able to give that back. It just simply means they remembered it. Maybe their academic strengths are they always turn in their homework. They always get those things done. So I'm going to write those two things down. And maybe those are the only academic strengths I know. And then I'm going to move on to the physical strengths. The student is a really good athlete. So I'm going to put has really good motor skills, has really good skills, um, is able to lift quite a bit because that can lead us to some really great activities and goals, is able to um, be mentally healthy. I think that's a positive thing. Then we move on to personality. The student is very friendly, always says hello to everyone. The student always makes an effort to make everybody's life better. Or maybe the student, sometimes people wanna say, but the student's stubborn. But stubbornness means that that student is always going to continue to drive for what they want. Perseverance is a positive characteristic and a positive strength. So we have to remember that sometimes look at those personality characteristics in a different manner and see how it would work in the post-school work setting. Then we're gonna look at interests. And what are they really like? Or what are they really good at? If, an, if a student has an interest in electricity, that's a really strong interest because it's not something that I have a strength in, nor do I actually have an ability in. Um, if I, my car stops, I'm not going to look under the hood. But if there's a student who tinkers with mechanics, they would have a positive strength in that. So what I want you to really do in step one is think about the student in those four different perspectives. Then just write as many as you can think of. There are only three spaces, but you are more than welcome to write more, or you are more than welcome to write less. And like I said, you may not know their academic strengths. You might just know them personally, or you might not know their interests because you don't have a strong relationship with them. And that's okay. Just write as many as you can think of. So just brainstorm and just keep thinking about it and think of their strengths. See you on step two.